Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Addison. Today we're going to be talking about how to use long division to solve math problems. The problem that we have today is 372 divided by 6. Our larger number is 372, so we call that number the dividend, and we're going to put that right here in the din. So the dividend goes in the din. Now, we're taking 372 and we are dividing it by 6. 6 is the smaller number, it's what we're dividing by, and we call that number the divisor. We're going to write 6 on the outside of the box. So now we have our long division problem set up, so now we can start. The first step is to figure out how many times 6 can go into the first number that's there. The first number is 3. Can 6 go into 3? If you said no, you are correct. We know that 6 cannot go into 3 because 3 is smaller than 6. So now we're going to go to the next number, and that number becomes 37. So now we need to figure out how many times can 6 go into 37. If you said six times, you are correct. So six will go into 37 six times. We're going to write that at the top, right above the seven. And now my next step is to multiply. My six on the top times my divisor, which is six. Six times six is 36. So I'm going to write that right below the 37. My next step is to subtract. I'm doing 37, take away 36. 7 take away 6 is 1. 3 take away 3 is 0. My next step is to bring down the remainder of my dividend. The only number that's left is 2, so I'm going to bring that down beside my 1. And now I need to figure out how many times my divisor of 6 will go into 12. So how many times will 6 go into 12? If you said 2, you are correct. So I'm going to put 2 at the top. And now the next step is to multiply. That 2 times my divisor, which is 6, 2 times 6 is 12. I'm going to write that at the bottom, and then again, I'm going to subtract. 2 take away 2 is 0, 1 take away 1 is 0, and so my answer is the number that's at the top. My answer is 62. Whenever you're doing division, remember the first step is to divide, and then multiply, subtract, and bring down. To check your answer, you can do 62 times whatever your divisor is. Our divisor here is 6. So 62 times 6. 6 times 2 is 12. I put my 2 here and I carry my 1. 6 times 6 is 36 plus 1 is 37. The answer here matches the number that's under the box, matches our dividend, so I know that my answer is correct.